Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I got this awesome comment from Derek Serrano asking if I could review Denver, Colorado. And of course I can. Now, if you guys want me to review a specific city, a specific county, specific state, please go ahead, comment down below and I will jump in and make you that video. Now, before I jump in and check out Denver, Colorado, I just wanna jump in and show you guys some news. Now, if you guys just Google housing news, you're gonna see article after article is painting a pretty horrible picture of what is to come here is an article from fanny may uh, that caught my eye and basically says you know housing sentiment dips again inches closer to all-time low not looking good uh, in september only 19 percent of consumers indicated that it was a good time to buy a home down 22 percent uh, the prior month while 59 percent indicate that indicated that it is a good time to sell so guys people basically they know that you know the market is still hot uh so it is, obviously it is a good time to sell because we're at the top of the bubble but they know that nobody wants to be buying right now because they know in like three months everything could be like a hundred thousand dollars cheaper right and every every penny counts so a lot of buyers are basically sitting on the sidelines it's really putting a lot of strain on the sellers as you know basically there's some sellers that could leave the house uh, up for sale forever and they don't care but there's some sellers man that they need to sell the house right away right for whatever reason everybody's different and that's the beauty of the housing market that it's not like it's not dependent on like it's really dependent on a, on emotion of that of that seller and that buyer at that moment right so it's always changing so again uh the more desperate sellers we have you're gonna see basically, uh, you know, uh, buyers really pushing those prices lower and lower. I keep telling people, if you find a house that you really like, man, you know, ask, don't even think of offering asking price. Always offer way, way below asking price because this is a negotiation, right? They're trying to get the most uh, they can and they're basically looking at comps, right? They're looking at come here. Let, let's jump over to Denver. So at least we could look at the map. This is Denver. I'm going to remove the boundaries. Uh, these people are basically looking at comps of what has sold recently. And they basically are going to try to stick it to you because you know we're coming out of we're coming out of a big, uh, uh, you know, super high prices, right? So they're going to sit there and be like, well, you know, homes in this neighborhood sold for this, this and this. It's like, yeah, that was before. But now things are crashing so things change right so let's go ahead so i've i gotta tell you i have done a few videos on denver and the reason i removed the boundaries is because i've always focused on this middle part uh and i kind of want to focus on different parts now and uh, i kind of want to go a little bit farther out so check this out there's definitely some very expensive houses in denver uh like i said you know if you want to be in this area right here you're gonna need like at least 700 thousand you know easy right and i kind of wanted to go somewhere a little bit more affordable now like i said i've never been to denver uh, i've been uh, itching to go um but i just haven't honestly um so let's check out this area up here north of downtown and if you guys know this area if you you know want to go ahead and comment and say hey you know that area is like dangerous. You would never want to live there. Please comment down below because again, I don't know. I've never been here. Uh, I just like looking at houses. I like learning about new neighborhoods. And sometimes you find some really, really beautiful houses. Now check this one out. Look, this one sort of stands out. It's on a lake. Let's see if they took pictures of the lake. Now they're really sticking it to you with the price. It's seven hundred and ninety eighty nine thousand dollars. 2800 square foot though that's a big house uh five bedroom uh, three bath sure that this is a really nice big house two car garage this is actually perfect now yeah the price is a little on the steep side but that's okay uh for if you get the money you get the money check this out this kitchen is insane right look at that backsplash that actually looks really really nice this kitchen shows really really nice i like this uh area too uh, with that different backsplash so let's see what else we got bathroom so this is obviously completely move and ready um and it's really close to this little lake right here they didn't show any pictures of the lake i really wanted to see how that looked but look at that awesome backyard this is definitely you could have some nice entertaining love these trees 
This is a really nice house. It is a little on the expensive side, seven eighty nine. Uh, you're gonna have to have a nice budget for this one, and uh, yeah, your mortgage uh, payments are gonna be a little on the steep side. Here's you could buy the neighbor's house though for six fifty four, almost over a hundred thousand dollars cheaper. Now check this out. I think this is better because this is a single story. This is right next door. I think you might be closer to that cool lake. Let's see if they show any pictures. But again, two car garage, same neighborhood, a hundred thousand dollar price cut. So you know these guys are motivated. Six bedroom, three bath, thirty two hundred square foot. This is a big, big house. This house is really, really nice. Let me click right here. I love these floors. I really, they're um, wood floors, real wood floors. Really, really loving this house. Let that kitchen is insane. Again, just down the street, a hundred thousand dollars cheaper than the other one, right? More than a hundred thousand. Again, this house is really, really nice. The only thing, to be a hundred percent honest with you. 3,200 square foot is a lot of house. It's a lot of house to take care of. The great thing is, is that it is a single story, which will make things a lot easier. Now, my recommendation is, you know, if you got a big family, this is literally the perfect house. If you got a small family, it's almost a waste of money. I mean, 3,200 square foot, man, that's, that's a lot, right? You're gonna have a lot of guest bedrooms in there. So let's see what else we could find. Look at this. This one is like basically on a park, seven hundred and ninety nine thousand dollars, thirty three hundred square foot, really, really big. So, yeah, completely move in ready what you would expect. So, yeah, this is really nice. Almost looks like a new construction, actually. And here it is. Look, let's look at this town real quick. What do you guys think? Uh, no sidewalks on this neighborhood. Well, that's weird. You would think at a house this nice, you would have sidewalks. But look at this golf course back here. You get some baseball fields. You get like a little lake thing over here. Look at those mountains back there. Pretty sick, huh? What do you guys think? So here, let's go back. Okay, so this one is 800,000. Okay, we gotta find something a lot cheaper than this because this is getting ridiculously expensive. Now look at this. This is nice. Single story, and it's got bars on the, on the doors. Do you think this is a good neighborhood or what? It's kind of uh, the inside looks nice. This is 450, 1700 square foot. But no, I don't I don't like bars on my doors. Kind of makes it feel like it's not safe. You know what I mean? Uh, let me see. Uh, look here, a little bit more affordable. Three hundred and ninety one thousand dollars. Twenty thousand dollar price cut. Uh, there's some riffraff going on here at the neighbor's house. So you might be buying a problem. Uh, I'll, sc I'll scan these photos real quick but yeah no hard hard pass on this house thousand square foot this is uh sound, looks like a disaster in my in my book they did vacuum which was kind of nice but no hard pass on that I, you know what uh i i want to tell you if you're the owner of any of these houses uh and i and i said something bad about it i'm really really sorry um i don't mean it it's just you know some houses just look janky look this one does not look janky though Check this out, 475,000, okay? You get 2,000 square foot, four bedroom, two bath. This is actually kind of nice. I like this house. It's kind of on a hill. Uh, it's got no sidewalks. Well, is that a sidewalk? That's like a, it's a tiny ass sidewalk. Anyways, the front of the house looks really, really nice. Uh, what is this? This looks like it could have been a garage and they turned it into maybe a separate unit or something. Um, so no garage, what is up with that? So I, I don't know, ooh, what happened here? What happened here? This is not good. I don't like this at all. This looks like problems. Um, this looks like maybe that's that unit. So there's some riffraff going on in this house. And for 475, I don't know, you get an inspector and you kind of sort of figure it out and see if this house is right for you. But the backyard looks pretty good. Maybe you could, you know, you do a little bit of sacrificing. You got to see how bad it is, you know, and, and whatnot. But no, uh, there's some something's going on here and you got to get the history on it and make sure everything is kosher, right? So let's see. Let's get one more decent one, somewhat affordable one to close it out. Again, there are some really nice houses, but there's also some janky houses out here. 
uh, when you go to the north. Look at this. What do you guys think of this one? Here, we'll close it out with this. 439,000, 2,100 square foot, nice size house, five bedroom, two bath, not looking good inside. Um, yeah, no, like, look at this. Like, looks kind of, you know, I just don't understand. I don't, you know, if you're going to sell the house, right? Like, why don't you just, like, move this stuff, right? Like, move it somewhere else. Why would you take a picture with all that jankiness all over? Anyways, the inside looks decent. Um, kind of, kind of decent. It looks okay. Again, 439000 2,100 square foot. Let's look at that backyard. Let's see what you're getting yourself into. Actually, this house is kind of cool. It looks like it's been used. It's, it looks like it's definitely had some fun. It looks like people have definitely hung out back here and, ha and had a good time. Again, I've never been to Denver. I definitely want to go out there. This is, you know, north of downtown Denver. Um, I just, I've been wanting to check out this area. Look at this, 530. I said that was going to be the last house, but here, we'll let this one be the last house. That one was kind of janky. Uh, this is 530, so a little bit, of, uh, you know, not that bad. The price is not that bad. 2,100 square foot. That's a big house. Four bedroom, three bath. $20,000 price cut. So you know these guys are motivated. This is a nice, the house looks nice right here. I love it. Absolutely love it. So you see, for just a little bit more money, you get so much more house. Look, the kitchen is somewhat moving ready. I like it. It's clean looks really nice everything looks really really good look you get a pool table so this is probably the basement or something so this house is nice man i love it uh, i would two car garage you know you call your realtor man and be like yo let me uh tour this house uh because um you might want to make an offer now i gotta tell you in the economy if this is the one that you wanted to buy if this house checked all the boxes I would say you know that they're motivated because they have a twenty thousand dollar price cut. Uh, I would offer five hundred. I would offer four ninety nine, and <laughs> it's probably gonna piss them off. But I would say, hey, you know what? And see if you can negotiate because I gotta tell you guys, if you look at what's happening, man, prices are coming down. You're gonna come here in three months, and this is gonna be way down here, and you're gonna be saying, God, why didn't I just wait a little bit? Now, if you have to buy a house. Uh, for whatever reason and you got a strike you know just make sure you try to negotiate that price as low as possible because again i just i feel like prices are really going to start to come down very very soon um okay cool so i'm going to go ahead and finish this video if you want me to review a specific city a specific county a specific state please go ahead comment down below doesn't even have to be here in the United States. It could be anywhere in the world. I would jump in and make you that video. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to smash that subscribe button and go ahead and like and leave a comment. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you on the next video.